or you have any ongoing problems with fatigue, Maybe you're wondering if some of your vitamin levels are influencing your energy levels. My name is Dr. Saranella, and in this video, we're going to look at that exact question, the vitamin causes of fatigue. So we're going to look at five different vitamins that can be contributing to your ongoing fatigue. Again, my name is Dr. Taranella, and if you're new to this channel, I just want you to know that I make these videos to help you go beyond the basics of your health, whether it's a confusing lab test, symptom, or diagnosis, make these videos to help you get a better understanding of what's going on with your body. So if you like this kind of information on nutrition, health, hormones, lab tests, et cetera, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as a treatment for any health condition or as a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical profession. It should be used as an educational guide to deeper your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. So in this video, we're going to look at some of the vitamin causes of fatigue and as we've said previously, fatigue could vary in both its presentation and severity. You might have just like slightly low motivation, or you may be barely getting out of bed from day to day. And so when we're looking at causes for fatigue, it's not always one thing. Sometimes there's multiple things going on. So in this video, we want to look at some of the vitamins and minerals that play a role in energy production from ATP production to delivering oxygen to the cells and tissues. In addition, also the neurotransmission. So when it comes to motivation, part of that is your psyche and your ability to produce neurotransmitters that are uplifting to your mind and spirit. So in this video, I want to look at some of the vitamins and minerals that are involved in these processes and are also commonly found to be deficient. So first, let's look at the vitamins needed to make ATP. We're going to look at some direct and indirect vitamins that are needed to make ATP. And vitamin B12 and iron are commonly deficient nutrients, and both are needed to make hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is part of your red blood cell. And without red blood cells, you can't deliver oxygen. So oxygen is really important. The hemoglobin on the red blood cells what carries that oxygen to the tissues. Oxygen is needed to make energy. And without the oxygen, the cell function greatly decreases, as does the energy production within that cell. Without these two vitamins, eventually you will become anemic. And most people, of course, associate anemia with fatigue. And this is related to that very same thing, the lack of oxygen and corresponding energy production. Now, without oxygen, our bodies can still make energy. It's just that the energy produced is much less. So in extreme cases of iron and B12 deficiency, you get anemia and then a corresponding fatigue. But even in subtle cases of slightly deficient or insufficient, you can still get fatigue from a lack of these vitamins. That's why it's important to get a thorough evaluation of these vitamins. So when you're having your evaluation, it's important to check for ferritin as well as just the serum iron because the ferritin is the stored iron and sort of gives you a broader understanding of what the iron levels are in your whole body. So if your serum iron looks normal, you can still have low total body iron as noted with a low ferritin test. Similarly, B12 is needed to recycle folate, which is needed to make DNA-based pairs. And so without it, you can have the same problem with anemia. B12 is also needed to make neurotransmitters through its production of SAMe. In summary, B12 and iron are needed to make hemoglobin and red blood cells. And without those, you can't deliver the oxygen to the tissues, and therefore you get less energy output. Independent of the energy output, when you don't have enough B12, you can also get limited output of your neurotransmitters, which can also lead to fatigue. Now, these two vitamins are also needed for other things in the body and can cause fatigue for other reasons, but these are the two most common. So let's look at some other common vitamin deficiencies that can also lead to fatigue. Vitamin D deficiency is essential for things like bone health and also plays a critical role in immune system and to a certain extent, energy production. Deficiency of vitamin D can lead to fatigue and muscle weakness. Usually it's when that vitamin D level is low for a long period of time or really, really low. There are some research studies on vitamin D and I have seen vitamin D help people in my practice when the levels are really, really low. But I wanted to look at what some of the research said about this as well. 
So there's a study published in the North American Journal of Medical Science in 2015, and they evaluated the association of vitamin D and fatigue in 120 female nurses. The results showed that the nurses that had vitamin D deficiency were significantly more fatigued than those who had a normal vitamin D level. So there's an association there, but does that mean it actually improves energy when it's supplemented? Well, there's another randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism in 2014, and they looked at the effect of vitamin D supplementation on fatigued and healthy adults with vitamin D deficiency. The study found that supplementation significantly improved fatigue symptoms compared to placebo, but the exact mechanism isn't really fully understood. It may have to do with production of certain hormones or neurotransmitters, or maybe some effect on the immune system. If I were to take a stab at it, I would say it's probably its effect on the immune system, but we still don't know for sure. So if your levels of vitamin D are really low, like below 20 milligram per deciliter, it probably can be useful in improving your energy. The lower it goes and the longer it's that low, the more likely that vitamin D is going to help you. Another vitamin cause for ongoing fatigue is magnesium. Magnesium is involved in many different biochemical reactions, as much as 300 different biochemical reactions. So it's definitely needed in a lot of different places in our body. And some of those are related to energy production. Now, magnesium is typically not associated with improving energy for a lot of people. It's kind of more used for helping sleep and anxiety and relaxation and muscle spasms, things like that. But there are studies verifying the benefit of magnesium in certain populations. Vitamin C deficiency is another vitamin that has been studied for its association with causing fatigue. Now, of course, vitamin C is an antioxidant and plays a role in immune function and wound healing. And a lot of times when people are having slow recovery from infections, vitamin C can really be helpful in getting over that home. So again, the vitamin C is probably tied in there with the immune system. If you think you're suffering from immune problems, vitamin C deficiency could be the issue. So in summary, the overlooked vitamin causes of fatigue that we covered in this video are B12, iron, vitamin D, magnesium, and vitamin C. Now, of course, there are other vitamins that can cause fatigue, especially when they're really, really low in your body. Sometimes even slight deficiencies can cause that. But these are the ones we covered in this video. And getting a, a proper assessment of these levels in your body can sometimes be difficult I'll leave that for another video, but at least getting the base layer understanding of what your vitamin levels are for these ones is a good idea. So how do I do that? Give you a better understanding of some of the vitamin causes of fatigue? Hopefully it does. If you have additional questions on this topic, drop it in the comment section. I'm happy to answer your questions and we'll see you next time.